I'd like to take just a few minutes to talk about a different approach to an emergency preparedness. Some of the more common things you've probably heard about are the bug out kit that contains emergency items you'll need if you leave right away. Or maybe you plan on staying, in which case you place your supplies in hermetically sealed containers, then lock them up behind a security gate inside your climate controlled underground storage area. You could use barrels to collect rainwater. But a much more versatile use for that rainwater is to feed it into your koi pond. Now, instead of a couple hundred gallons of water, you have a couple thousand gallons of water. And in the case of an emergency, your pond can act as a food locker. You take nets and go to the local streams and ponds and catch fish. Bring them back alive and keep them in the pond. This way there's no need for refrigeration. But here's the problem with an above ground pond. The water can become contaminated with things like volcanic ash and nuclear fallout. However, this problem is easily fixed. Build your pond so it can be quickly and easily covered with plywood. The plywood and a layer of plastic will provide protection from radioactive particles and ash. Let me show you how easy it is to store large quantities of plywood. Most houses have a side that's not exposed to the weather. You pick this side to build your plywood storage area in. Put down a layer of concrete block and build a 2x2 two two framework to keep the plywood up off the block. Now you want to protect the entire plywood with a piece of plastic at least 10 mils or thicker. To attach the plastic to the house, bolt a 2x4 into place, then sandwich the plastic between the 2x4 and a 2x2. Two two. This installation is plenty wide enough to store your plastic on when you're adding and removing plywood. To keep the plastic stiff, wrap the bottom of it around a 2x2. Two two. The boards that I'm adding in place now keep the wind from blowing the plastic. You get a lot of wind, add a couple more boards. Now, if you design to build your pond correctly, this is how easy it is to cover it. The pond on the left takes one sheet of plywood, the pond on the right takes two. If the situation also requires you to cover it in plastic, right here is a convenient place to store that plastic. You'll notice there's considerably more than required to actually cover the plywood. So the same plastic serves two purposes, plywood storage protection as well as pond protection. When the plastic is down, you'll need to put weight on it to keep it from blowing away. See all the rocks in the landscaping behind the ponds? Easy access. There you go. Again, double duty. Landscaping and pond protection. Okay, we're not done talking about plywood yet. You want to keep considerably more plywood than just three pieces. Here's why. Most probably the house you're living in has windows. The windows are the weakest part of your shelter because they can be damaged by many things. Such as hurricanes and volcanoes, tornadoes, civil disobedience, and even explosions caused by industrial accidents. So you want to keep enough plywood on hand to cover every door and window in your home. Preferably, you'll want to pre-cut these to size before you'll actually need to use them. You just store these pre-cut pieces in back of your full-size pieces of plywood and they're not even in the way. You can also use your plywood for repairing your roof from falling trees, cover holes in the ground from sinkholes or earthquakes and such, and repair your perimeter fencing. Another use for your plywood is bartering. Plywood is always one of the first things to run out in the stores when there's a major catastrophe. So, people that didn't plan ahead like you did will be willing to trade with you something you need for plywood. Well, thanks for watching.